today i want to pray for every single one believing the lord for the fruit of the womb this day i declare and decree it's your season of fruitfulness i declare and decree that your womb is open in the name of jesus christ of nazareth psalm 127 verse 3 to 5 says children i gift from the lord children a gift from the lord i declare in the name of jesus your own gift is here just like jesus christ was given to us as a gift to mankind today i declare presentation of gift to you in the name of jesus he said children are a reward from him today i declare your season of reward is here you have prayed and believed god i declare today your prayer are answered Bible says children born to a young man are like arrows in a warrior's hand. How joyful is the man whose quiver is full of them. He will not be put to shame when he confronts his accusers at the city gates. Today in the name of Jesus, by the virtue of the gifts that the Lord is releasing to you at this season, every battle that you have been fighting and it appears you've been losing, today Today, I declare you begin to win because God is going to bless you with the gifts of the womb in the name of Jesus. Another translation says, don't you see that children are God's best gift? Ah, this day, receive your own best gifts. If you have been waiting on the Lord and it looks like the more you wait, the more you feel disappointed this day i declare your own best gifts are here he said the fruit of the womb is his generous legacy like a warrior's feast full of arrow are the children of a vigorous youth oh how blessed are you parent with your killers full of children your enemies don't stand a chance against you today Hey, I pray for you that have every enemy standing against you, fighting against you, causing you to be childless and footless. Today I declare that host of heaven fights for you and with you against those enemies in the name of Jesus. So you will sweep them right off your doorstep. Today I speak over you every lost battle in the name of jesus you begin to have victories you begin to have victories in the name of jesus i declare an end has come to childlessness an end has come to fruitlessness in the name of jesus you remember in the book of luke chapter one the story of zachariah ah i want to pray that same prayer for you today in the name that is above all other names i declare and i decree for you that god of heaven will visit you you are going to experience divine and supernatural visitation in the name of jesus therefore having carefully investigated everything from the beginning it seemed good to me to write and hardly account for you most excellent your philosophy so that you may know the certainty of the things you have been taught and then the scripture says in verse 5 of the book of luke chapter 1 in the time of herod king of judea there was a priest named zachariah who belonged to the priestly division of abijah and whose wife elizabeth was a daughter of Aaron. both of them were righteous in the sight of god walking blamelessly in all the commandments and decrees of the lord but there was a but there was a but i don't care what kind of but is in your life say but they had no children because elizabeth was barren and they were both well along in years in other words they were old i don't know how long you've been waiting on the lord you've been married for 10 years five years seven years and then you've been serving the lord you've been seeking the lord you've been righteous before the lord and then there's not been anything to show for your being faithful and for your commitment to god and then the scripture says one day while Zechariah's vision was on duty and he was serving as priest before God, he was chosen by Lord according to the custom of the priesthood to enter the temple of the Lord. And Bonin says, I read a me and, and at the hour of the incense offering, the whole congregation was praying outside. Just then, an angel of the Lord appeared to Zechariah. Today, I declare in the name of Jesus, divine visitation for you, you will be visited. I declare for you, you will be visited. 
by the power of the most high god you'll be visited in the name of jesus and the angel of the lord appeared unto him he was startled and gripped with fear but the angel said to him do not be afraid zachariah because your prayer has been heard or in other words your prayer has been answered your wife elizabeth will bear you a son and you are to give him a, the name john today in the name of jesus this is your season this is your time this is your time to be visited the angels appeared to zachariah that same angel God is sending supernatural angel to you to visit you in the name of Jesus. Your wombs are open. The same way God visited Cornelius in the book of Acts chapter 10. And the scripture said, today your prayer and your hands have come to a memorial before the Lord. You have prayed, you have sought the Lord, you have cry to the Lord in your secret place I decree for you today it is that time that your prayer will be answered this season as we celebrate the arrival and the existence of children I declare for you according to the time of life by this time next year you will carry your own children you will carry your own baby I speak conception for you and I declare everything that has been closed against you is open. Your womb is opened in the name of Jesus. I don't care who has been responsible, whether you or the enemy or anyone. I declare the name of Jesus today by the help of the Spirit. Your womb is open and you conceive. And next year, you carry your baby. I speak conception for you today. Next year, you will be called a mother by the Spirit of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, this is your time. This is your season of fruitfulness. This is your time and this is your season of fruitfulness. This is your time and this is your season of fruitfulness. I speak to you right now be fruitful multiply replenish the earth according to the ordinance of heaven which was an instruction given from god to man you are fruitful you multiply you replenish the heart and subdue it i came as a prophet just like elijah spoke to that sunamite woman i speak to every single woman speak to every man that is believing god for the fruit of the womb today is your day this season is your season according to the time of life you carry your own baby and so shall it be now and forever in the name of jesus amen you share your testimony very soon in jesus name amen god bless you